Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're joining me, the author, Andrew Snorton, and you are joining me for our weekly edition of the Fast 15. As many of you know, typically Wednesdays about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, give or take a couple of minutes. We take a, no more than about 15 minutes to kind of pause, check up, check in, enjoy an encouraging note for many of the books or audio books, close out with a couple of announcements and hopefully words of encouragement. As many of you know, when life is lifing <laughs> and all that type of thing, sometimes you can't wait till the end of the day or the beginning of the next day to take that time to pause, reboot, all that type of stuff. So hopefully, just like this is a little bit of a breather for you, it's a breather for me just to kind of do a reset. So as I reset, so you see the scholarly look, kind of sort of, <laughs> with the skull cap and the, and the orange, and I'll explain the orange shirt in just a minute, and the bookcase, and the sign, but you, you know how we do. I just hope everyone's really having a good day and a good week. Um, so before we get into our topic of the day, as we always do, just a quick encouraging note. We know, like I said before, when life is lifing, there are some people that are really going through some challenging times. Like all of us are dealing with something, but some people are really dealing with some serious stuff on you know a daily basis, hourly basis, or minute by minute. So if you or some of you know is really going through a challenging time, we just want to say we're extending words of encouragement, words of comfort. You do have every right to feel some kind of way. We are human, and we're going to go through the wide range of emotions, experiences, all that type of thing. However, the key thing is take the time you need to pause, reboot, identify the help that you need. So whether it requires professional attention, if it requires just a change up in your routine or the people you're around, those types of things, please identify constructive ways that will help you not only go through it, but grow through it. You know, by the same token, there are people who are going through some great things. Uh, some people, you know, new job opportunities, some people on the writing end, um, you know, getting, you know, new books out. Um, you know, you've any type of personal accomplishment. So we definitely want you to take time to celebrate because you know what you had to be led through in order to get there. Uh, celebrate, celebrate responsibly and um, make sure to feed off the positive energy so it positions you for what's next. So again, those are always words of encouragement and insight that we try to do because again, like for people that watch it live or watch the repost or what have you, you never know what people are going through and you want to show some level of, of sensitivity and concern for folks. So we always want to do that just to help keep perspective. So for today, we're going to go to the book I did chronicling my first year of covering minor league baseball, Nothing Minor. It is a hard cover. You can get it online and you can get it at a few independent bookstores and then some. So you definitely want to make sure to uh, check it out. So with it being, you know, major league, well, this is covering mainly minor league baseball. So triple A, which is the top level of minor league ball, double A, single A. And uh, a number of the players I interviewed are on major league rosters. Um, there are some who, you know, are no longer in the major leagues, but there's some good insight in regards to, um, you know, just player insights, perspectives and more. And so this quote is a quote from one of the players who I interviewed, who is a free agent right now by the name of Travis Demerit. And Travis is, uh, grew up in the Winder, Georgia area. He saw a significant time with the Atlanta Braves um, a couple years ago, as well as the Detroit Tigers. So this is a quote that he said that I think is a good reminder for any time of the year. So here it goes. Don't give up. Silence the noise. Continue. If it's your dream and that's what you want to do, don't let anyone deter you from it and stay resilient. And I tell you what, I go back to that quote at times when I think about the different projects I'm working on, the things that I'm doing, um, you know, and just making sure to have your mind and spirit right. And I think a number of us can relate. There are some of us who've had career changes, some of us who have had to pause and pivot on a couple things and, you know, people will say what they want to say and, and that's their business. But there's some things you can't get caught up in and, and what have you, especially if you know that what you're doing is helping you grow, whether spiritually, uh, professionally, community wise and otherwise. And I think about Travis, who did realize his dream of playing major league ball, 
Uh, hopefully, you know, wherever he is, he's taking time to still stay connected with the game. But it's something that he said that really stuck with me. And you think about the number of us who have dreams and we get deterred from those or we we never get started on it or things along those lines. So just something to think about. So that's the message or memo from the day from Nothing Minor. And uh, make sure to pick it up at your favorite bookstore. If it's not your favorite bookstore, request it. And yes, you can get it online for those who prefer online. Okay, so a couple of quick things. Why am I wearing orange? Well, the reason for orange is that I was notified today is, if I'm correct me if I get it wrong, it's National Anti-Bullying Day. And orange is the color that is worn. So shouts to those who are fighting against bullying on all levels, not just K through 12, but collegiately, workplace, and even some interpersonal relationships. So if you're someone you know is dealing with that situation, um, lend a sensitive ear to it and try to direct them to where they can get help. But also you you know, make sure you get help as well. And to the authors who have written about this topic, one comes to mind is Phoenix Blue doing some amazing work in the greater Chicago area. Definitely check out her work. Um, yeah, definitely that's a situation that needs to stop. And we see, we even see bullying in regards to some of the, the rhetoric on some things. I'm just going to leave it there. So shouts to everybody who is fighting against bullying on all levels. Hey, if you are, just stop. Get that. Get some help. Seriously, we know that bullying is a byproduct of something else. So address the causative factors and then let's move forward in putting our energy in more positive and productive spaces and places. Uh, some people might be funny. No, I'm not wearing this because of Clemson University. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So um, a couple of quick announcements uh, with upcoming events. I'm really excited. October 26th, 1130 a.m. to 130 p.m. Check me out in Raleigh, North Carolina at Bows Books and Brews. I'll be doing my next author's talk. It'll be moderated and hosted by my colleague Jazzy B for real. So it's J-A-Z-Z-Y, the number four. Wait, J-A-Z-Z-Y, the letter B, the number four, and then R-E-A-L. So make sure to check her out and make sure to check us out when we're at Bo's Books and Brews in Raleigh, North Carolina on October 26th. November 2nd from 12 to 3 p.m. in Morrow, Georgia at Nubian Bookstore will be my next Metro Atlanta book signing. Make sure to stop by, check me out. I have all the books available and things of that nature as I definitely want to make sure to see you there. And then uh, November the 23rd, that will be the Saturday before the Thanksgiving holiday. Check me out in Jacksonville, Florida at San Marcos Books and More. That will be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So if you're in Jacksonville or Duval, okay, well, I did it well enough. Make sure to check me out there. And uh, yes, the real DJ Esam. Hey, what's going on? Make sure to check him out, the real DJ Esam, doing some great and creative work. So make sure to check him out on the gram. And thanks, you know, for joining me live on this one. So those are some of the um, events that are coming up. Again, reminder, October 26th, Raleigh, North Carolina, Bows, Books and Brews. November 2nd, Nubian Bookstore, uh, that it's in Morrow, Georgia. And then November 23rd, Jacksonville, Florida, um, uh, at San Marcos Books and More. So those would be the next book signing. So, you know, holiday season's right around the corner. You definitely want to get yours. Another thing you definitely want to get is I'm enjoying a, an afternoon cup of coffee. So give me a moment. Mm. Get you a cup of really good coffee or a bag of really good coffee. I'm enjoying my own. This is the author, Andrew Snorton Blend. This is the Bourbon Infused Roast. This is in collaboration with Fonte's Coffee, based out of Louisville, Kentucky. Shouts to the amazing Fonte's Coffee team doing some amazing work. So make sure to check out, um, yeah, just check out, <laughs> order online. But if it's not available at your favorite coffee house or what have you, make sure to request it. So that will be from... Um, um, yeah, from uh, Fonte's Coffee in Louisville, as well as you can go on my Instagram for all that type of stuff. A couple other quick things. Um, make sure probably by Friday, but probably tomorrow, the next author's newsletter will come out. So there'll be updates on all the book signings, events, and more. So you want to make sure to um, subscribe on that. 
another thing, of course, like a number of people, the best way to stay connected with me is going to be on Instagram at author a snorton. When you click on the link in the bio, it takes you to my link tree. And then from there, you'll see the author's newsletter, all the social media handles, all the info on the coffee, the audio books, any interviews and upcoming events. So, uh, yeah, so those are the things that are going on. Oh, another quick thing before we get ready to wind down. Depending on where you live, early voting has started. If you are registered to vote, please make sure to vote. And the only thing I'll tell you is vote for a candidate that will make the biggest positive impact on as many people as possible. I'll just leave it there. But if you're registered, make sure to vote. Try to take advantage of early voting if it's offered. If you have to do the traditional route on the traditional election day, so be it. If you have to do the absentee ballot, so be it. But please be a part of the community and civic engagement process. This is the easiest way to do it. And don't think your vote does not matter. It really does. So take advantage of those opportunities. So those are some of the main things we have going on. Uh, again, a reminder, check out The Real DJ Esam. Thank you so much for popping on for a minute. If you haven't connected with him, please make sure to do so. Please continue to like, share, add, follow, repost, all that type of thing. Your encouragement really does mean a lot. And um it helps me to grow, but it also helps me to better help others. So definitely make sure to, you know, to keep doing what you do. So as we get ready to wind down, um, again, each and every Wednesday, typically about one o'clock, we take no more than 15 minutes to pause, check up, check in and reboot. That noise you hear, I guess that's the uh, trash pickup <laughs> for this part of the metro area. So uh, yeah, but other than that, all of you continue to take very good care. Peace and blessings. Again, stay connected with me at Author Ace Norton on Instagram. And as we close out, whether small or big, a victory is a victory. Whether slow or swift, movement is movement. Keep it victorious. Keep it moving. All of you take very good care. And I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. All right. Take care, y'all. Peace.